But it's only A tier because I saw Ace Aura use it one time, so I'm gonna put it in A tier. Oh, by the way, I am drinking, so don't take any of these takes seriously. All right, so we're getting started. Well, with, with plugin number one, we have Span. That's this one. I know this one. So for me, Voxengo Span, I can definitely... Ah, I'm just kidding, guys. Span starts with an S, meaning that it is in the S tier. No, Span's great because it gives you a visual of where your song is at. Look, guys, not all of us have fancy studios with room treatment, $5,000 speakers, six consoles, 10 computers. No, sometimes we need a little bit of extra help. And you know where that, you know who comes in to the rescue? Isn't Span the meat in the can? No, that is, that is both Span and Spam. S tier, easy. Just saying, check it out. Look at my breakfast this morning. If you don't, if you don't know, you know. Done, all right, what's next? Spitfire Lab. Where am I gonna put it? I've maybe used it on two songs. Labs is the undisputed champion for a price to performance? No. I know Labs is more than the piano, but I've, <laughs> but I only have the piano installed and it's, it's not that good. Here's my beef with Labs, okay? What the fuck is this? What does this mean? What is this image? I just, it's a knob, you turn it up. What is this? It's a red spiral. Okay, I need to make a change. Let's add more red spiral to it. I don't know what it does. I have no clue what it does, but it's red spiral. I am one whole vodka soda in. Like make it freaking more clear. Make it make sense. Sorry, I'm not smart. I make bleep bloops on the on the Ableton. And if you have any kind of complex MIDI that you're playing, the timing is all f***ed up because of this weird sampling that it does. Because this is what it sounds like when you put it on the lead. <laughs> what? It just doesn't work with any riffage. It's good for chords. It's good as a layer, but, um, but I definitely wouldn't consider it. Anyway, Spitfire Labs, C tier. Um, hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be looking at free plugins. I am a little bit of a plugin minimalist. Jeez, I'm like looking at some of these and I don't know what half of them are. Because when I first started making music, I would download every single plugin I could, but I was producing in the time when all of the operating systems had switched over from 32-bit to 64-bit. So here I am learning music production and feeling really confident about it. But when I upgraded, just took one night, boom, everything gone. Literally couldn't use a single dang thing and it traumatized me. Either way, that turned me not depending on using BSTs. And if I want a piano that just works, we're calling on my boy four front piano. It does it does not sound as good as other pianos, but a good piano plugin is great for when you just want to sketch out ideas. I don't mean to sound pretentious about that, but four front piano. A uh, you know what B tier. Just because there's no settings, it really doesn't sound that good, but it's a good plugin. But I'm talking Spitfire Labs as a piano plugin, okay? So if you're watching this right now, you're about to type in an angry comment, you're like, um, you know, labs can load in way more instruments. You know what? I told you earlier, plugin minimalist. I don't download a million different things. There's Ableton stock plugins and I still haven't downloaded them because I use like five plugins. So you just released your song. Now what you got to do, just be a potato like me and wait for the plays to roll in. No, don't do that. But if you've been on this channel, you know that's not how it works. Having a dedicated graphics and visual team can be really tough if you're just starting out. So, friend of the channel and sponsor of this video, DistroKid, comes to the rescue with an awesome tool called Promo Cards. If you make your release catch your attention of all your future fans, show them what your song is all about with DistroKid's awesome promo cards. Everybody, round of applause. These pre-made images using your album art are perfectly formatted for posting on all social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and more. Try smiling sometimes, guys. Look, even me, a potato, can do it. This is all included with your DistroKid subscription, which is only $20 a year, where you get unlimited uploads and keep 100% of your royalties. But on top of that, my viewers can get 7% off their first year just by using my VIP link, which is down there. So go sign up. Make your releases look as good as me. I mean, look as good as they sound. And as always, thank you, DistroKid, for sponsoring this video. 
Now back to it. Fresh air. I'm actually not sure what it does. Let me look it up. I can see the comments now. Why he try some plugins, but don't try others? Because this is my damn video. I do what I want. Add the smoothest high end you've ever heard without even a hint of harshness. And it's got two knobs. When I say I'm a plugin minimalist as well, I love plugins that do not have many settings. Because to me, when I decide to get a plugin, I want it to be ridiculously easy to use. And the only time I will use that plugin over and over again is when it allows me to do something faster. So, just looking at Fresh Air, knowing Slate Digital's reputation, I'm gonna have to put it in the eight here. Valhalla, super massive. I've never used it. We take a look at this plugin. It is a reverb plugin, okay? I have Ableton Reverb, which I don't really like that much. You know that I like using Little Plate, only two knobs. Well, look at this. Look at the amount of knobbage on this. If I want a reverb, man, I'm just gonna use Little Plate. <laughs> man, I'm a simple man, okay? I don't need this many knobs. That's too many. C tier, there you go, I said it. You see me, I'm not smart. That's too many knobs. But it's so good. I mean, you're probably right. I will. I might have to report back later when I actually use the plugin, but right now, my, my little baby brain cannot comprehend this. I'm gonna fight you to put super massive higher. I don't believe you. You won't fight me. Crush. Which one was crush again? All right. So looking at looking at the um, interface once again for bit crushing, I normally use Ableton's Redux. And let's take a quick look at how Ableton's Redux looks. All right. One, two, two big knobs, two small knobs, a few buttons compared to Y D tier. This is fun, guys. Deck said what does that one look like again not bad y'all oh no huh? <laughs> oh! <laughs> how many knobs do you want dext yes who else we got baby come back um this is from baby audio right one of my favorite companies actually so yeah sure you know what you get b tier because b for baby no, not biased. Saturation knob. Huh. This sounds promising. <gasps> oh my God. I have never used this in my life, but look at that. <gasps> Take a moment and just revel in the beauty of this singular. It's a pain to install. Okay, going back to my trauma. Imagine you get used to using saturator knob all the time and someone's already saying it's a pain to install. What happens when we move over to 128-bit operating systems? What happens when, you're, when your one knob saturator decides to die and then all of the music you've worked on for years suddenly becomes useless? T. D, S, sir. I've never used that one either. Um. Oh, it's this one. All right, what's this one look like? Oh, ooh, that interface though. And I've been in the market for a good D, S, sir for a fat minute. Not me trying to download it right now. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and put this in B tier. All right, real review coming soon. What's T, D, S, or plus? Oh, that's too many knobs. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I think that's that's kind of the point I'm trying to make, right? Uh, sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes it's good to limit yourself because it helps you progress further. You don't get paralyzed by all of the information that's like screaming at you as you're literally trying to make art. So um, that's just my, one of my core philosophies, especially when it comes to music production. I want to be able to create faster and imposing limits helps that so much more than having a million options. Frontier Limiter. Oh, this one looks like it's a, oh, it's a rack mounted gear. Sound examples. Is that on or off? Uh, I only use outboard hardware. I don't understand what's happening here. Is that the interface? Oh, it's got a soft clipper though. We like a good soft clipper. Ableton's limiter doesn't have that. Um, judging from the interface, it's pretty. It looks like uh, the two knobs are very attractive to me. 
and it's got some presets for you to play around with. You know what? We stand it. We're gonna give it a B. It's probably back to the talking stock Ableton Limiter on his old stream. I don't know why it makes me remember that. Honestly, Ableton's Limiter is not that good. I mean, it gets the job done, right? But if, if it were up to me, I'd be using Pro L. Yeah, distort it too easily. That's, that's what I mean when I wanna find a cleaner limiter because even when you start adjusting for peak reduction, you can't do it so aggressively on Ableton's limiter. You can only let the limiter kind of barely cut peaks, so you can't use it aggressively. A1 stereo. What does this do? With my A1 stereo control plugin, you'll be able to expand or limit the stereo width. Bro, just pan it. Um, I think too many people obsess over stereo width, so I'm gonna put that there. Also, what is this interface? I would never. Control surge VST. One synth challenge. Yeah, of course you only need one synth. Look at all these controls. Is that FM or is that FX? Oh, how much do you want in this synth? Everything. I mean, if you're a one synth Andy, then I guess that's like good for you. Oh, wait, wait, you know, you know what? Before we, before we give it a rating, we better uh, look at a demo. Hi, Roger Lin here. I'm gonna play some. Sound Hello, Roger Lin. What is this controller? It looks dope though. Ooh, using the audio from the camera. That is. That's okay. Show me better, please. Hey, this is Paul. With hey, Paul. demonstration of the. Dude, look at this interface. What is this? Oscillators over here. FM routings over here. I guess you got filters and stuff. Like, okay. If you're a new producer and someone's like, yo, get Surge Synthesizer. And if you looked at this, I think this is too much, man. I guess this is for people who are like, oh, I've been producing for a long time and let me flex and make everything in one synth. Bro, I can do that in Serum. It's simpler. And I promise you, you'll have more fun. Because isn't music production supposed to be fun? Nope. Nope. I don't like it. I don't like it. Why? I've never used this plugin. Micro. Which one is this? This is that plugin I saw on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> He's trolling. Great demo. Three seconds of actual demo. Two out of ten. This is going there. That's going why. What the? F uh, sweet case. Free electric piano plugin. Okay, this. L looking at this interface. Now let's hear what it sounds like. Hello? Okay. All right. I think I found a new friend, guys. Uh, what was next? Delay Llama. What does this even do? It's beautiful. Look at this guy go. He looks like me right now. Wait, if I, wait. Clearly! I'm gonna go ahead and download that. This, M Auto Pitch. If you've watched my How To Hyper Pop video, I was very adamant about you need to buy Little Alter Boy in order to get the hyper pop sound. But little old me finally discovered the magic that is M Auto Pitch. So as an auto tuner, I mean, it's okay. The depth and the speed controls aren't very accurate, so you can use it to do the Travis Scott T-Pain auto-tune sound, but you can't use it transparently, like do a quick fix on your vocals. But the really good part about this is the formanship because you don't need to have a little all. You can frickin' um, kind of mix it in. You get Porter Robinson. What does that mean for M Auto Pitch? Where does it go in the grand scheme of things? That's an A-tier plugin, friends. You're like, oh, where's Ash gonna put Camel Crusher? Oh, what would, where would he put Camel Crusher? Of course it's F, you know? Like, what does this even do? Look, there's one, two, three, six, seven knobs, and all it does is just distort stuff. And plus, it looks like it's from 2008. No, f you, Camel Crusher's S tier. I dressed to match the color, okay? All you need with Camel Crusher is British clean. 
And it's funny because I, I happened upon this preset accidentally. And then I found out that literally every other producer used it as well. Like, aside from all the other super goaded presets that Camel Crusher has, British Clean just works as an, an instant limiter, cleans up sounds. So I literally have it on vocal racks because it lets me sing super dynamically, like taking mic away, putting the mic close, and it balances everything out. So it's, it's crazy. Then you do that with any kind of loud noises, leads, mid-range basses. It's one of those instant, put it on, and it just works. So obviously, from my simple brain, that goes there, easy. Clip shifter, it's another soft clipper, very clean. It's one of those things that I throw on the master just to make stuff loud, but it's only A tier because I saw Ace Aura use it one time, so I'm gonna put it in A tier. Vital, you know where Vital goes. Y'all know where Vital goes. Probably the best free club in the world. Literal, if you wanna learn how to do sound design, you're a brand new producer. Vital is one of the best since. Gives you a, a great foundation, it's easy to learn. But when you learn Vital, you can move on into other synths like the one that we were harping on earlier. You can get so far with this damn synth. So that is easily S tier. If you need a video to watch on how to get started with Vital, you Type in sound design for beginners on my channel right here. And you watch, I'm gonna put a pop up and make sure it pops up so that you can click on it. But go watch that one, see how easy Vital is and learn how to use it because it's on par with Serum. You know that everybody uses Serum. That costs you $200, Vital costs you nothing. S tier, absolutely. That's a fantastic bookend for the free plug-in tier list. Of course, I wasn't able to get to every single one. And like I said, I actually haven't used like 80% of these plugins. Guys, what did I say earlier about like, oh, wait, you need to be getting, don't wait, don't fall into the trap of needing to get all of the plugins in order to be a better producer. Go through what you feel like would work for you, but decide what you want to use and just stick with it because eventually you're gonna be in the zone, you're gonna be wanting to just make music and you don't wanna have freaking a million plugins and wondering what the heck do all of these do? Pick five or six that you like and just go for it. Like you can try the plugins. There's nothing telling me to stop you from trying the plugins. <laughs> Figure out what works for you. It's like what Full Mana said yesterday. He found that I have too many plugins. A lot of them do interesting things, but I have so many that I forget about all of them and end up using the same five or six anyway. And if you're a new producer, you don't realize that's probably gonna happen to you. Try some of them, try them out. See if you like my process of Mr. One Knob Andy, get done fast, or if you like the more versatile stuff. That's the beauty of music production. There's so many different options. But when you have those options, I implore you to limit yourself once you get into the zone. I hope that's been insightful. I will probably do another video where I actually try them, but this was just for fun. Thank you for watching. Go like, subscribe, go make some bangers. Peace.